Hey friends, Misha Crossing here, back with another tutorial on using the Animal Crossing New Leaf Save Editor. If you don't know what this save editor is, or you want to uh, set it up to be used with your town, I recommend you watch my step-by-step -step video which shows you just how to set up your 3DS to uh, hack your Animal Crossing town and edit your town in this way. I'll link that in the description box as well as the link to the actual save editor where you can upload your save file to. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on moving around buildings and public works projects. So I'll mostly be on this page. This list over here shows you your full list of buildings um, and public works projects. So your like characters' houses, villager houses, public works projects, um, retail, and your bulletin board. Anything that you can possibly alter or move around is in this list. On this map over here, any building or public works project is indicated by a little triangle in the corner of a box. And all other spaces that the building takes up are blank, so it can be a little confusing, but there are a few little tips to figuring out where everything is and how you can move them. The easiest thing to do is just to know how many spaces a building or public works project takes up. Uh, there is a list of all public works projects and how many spaces they take up uh, on this website. Uh, I will link it also in the description box, so get to know that. So public works projects that are only one space are, you know, pretty obvious. They occupy the space that the triangle is on, like right here. I have a torch. It's only one space, so this is the space that it's in. For houses, the little triangle is going to be in the space where the house's door is. That's villager houses and character houses. So villager houses are three by three. Um, so this is where the door is and then the rest of these spaces are where the actual house is. And player houses, regardless of how big you've expanded them, they're always five by three is how many spaces the, uh, the fence and everything takes up. So this little triangle is the door to my house and the rest of the space is the actual house. And for public works projects that are two by two, uh, the triangle will be in the lower left space that it occupies. So this is the statue fountain. Um, this is the lower left space where it is. Um, and those spaces are uh, where the actual statue fountain is. And for public works projects that are three spaces across, the little triangle will be in the center front space that it occupies. So Stonehenge here is three by three. So this triangle is where is the front middle space occupies then the rest of those spaces are the actual Stonehenge. It can be a little confusing to wrap your mind around the spaces that all these buildings occupy when it's not shown on the screen. Uh, something that you can do to indicate to yourself how much space your buildings or public works projects occupy, you can put a border around them in game. So something that has a color that will stand out to you on the map if you happen to not have flowers in your town then using flowers would be helpful to outline your building since they're bright pink uh, but other things that would be great to use are bells because they're a bright yellow and they really stand out and it's kind of easy to pull out just 100 bells at a time and set them down also clothing items if you have a lot of those in your storage but not any on the ground they're a, a blue color so they'll stand out as well Okay, now we're gonna move on to actually moving things. Anything in this list here can be moved. You can move them by coordinates if you really want to, but that's a lot more complicated than just clicking on this little finger icon and uh, moving it that way. So you should not move your train station or your railroad crossing arms. That is big no-no, it'll corrupt your save file. You can move the bulletin board, that's completely safe to move anywhere. And then you can move retail, any house, any public works project. Now this town plaza here, that's not the whole stone plaza, that's actually just the town tree. So you can move the town tree pretty much anywhere you want and it will move uh, away from the stone plaza. The stone plaza will remain here. You can move that with the map editor, which I'll go over in another video. So if I wanted to move the town hall, I would just click this little finger icon. It will highlight on the map where the town hall is currently located uh, and I can just click any icon on here and it will move right there. So obviously you have to be aware of how many spaces that your building takes up because moving the town hall here would eliminate all of the patterns and trees and bushes and flowers and whatnot that are in the space that it occupies. And similar to moving the town tree, you can move retail and you can move the town hall without actually moving the stone 
uh, plaza that goes with it. Another tip, you can move your island storage bin, which is the storage bin attached to the dock, but the dock has to be placed eight spaces down and one to the left from the island storage bin, which I'll go over again in the map editor, but just keep that in mind. Uh, keep your island storage bin and dock um, spaced out that way. And here's your dock's coordinates down here, by the way. <laughs> it's on the list as well. For moving villager houses, you'll notice on this list that villagers are listed by number and not their actual name. So to know what villager's house you're actually moving, you just need to go to your villagers tab. It lists all of your villagers here with their corresponding number to the left of them. So uh, Clay is villager 2. So here on this list, villager 2's house is Clay's house. So if I want to move Clay's house, I just check his number find the numbered house on the list here and move it wherever I want it. Now some other tips for moving things around with the save editor. Um, the save editor's help page warns against putting buildings in water. Public works projects can definitely go in water with no issues. Um, I've seen villagers houses in water without issues in dream towns but I'd still be very careful. Um, if you're doing anything that you're not sure if the save editor is going to allow or you're not sure if it might glitch your game I would I mean, you always need to make a backup save file before you edit anything, but definitely make a backup save file, put it on your computer, go into the save editor, edit just that one thing that you're not sure about. Um, so if you want to put a villager's house in the water and not sure if it's going to glitch your game, go into the editor, do that and only that, then insert your save file um, and just see if everything runs smoothly, if it glitches the game or something's wrong, then you'll know that that is what the issue was, so you can just go back and inject your backup save file and know not to do that again. Definitely don't put characters' houses in water because you're not going to be able to access them. Moving things to the beach is completely okay. Public works projects, buildings like retail and houses. Uh, just make sure that everything is on the sand and not in the water, otherwise you won't be able to actually walk in the door. Another good thing for paying attention to building sizes is that Houses, or not just houses, but buildings and public works projects in general will always have a one space buffer around them. So whatever space they occupy, pull us a one space buffer where you're going to have to be able to walk, um, where trees and bushes and things can't grow. So even if you place, say, a house right next to the water where the door is right here on the water, there will still be uh, a buffer space in front of it. So you'll basically be walking over the river. Uh, and that's it won't glitch your game. It's just something to keep in mind that it uh, is a little weird, but it's not dangerous. But I'd still recommend wherever you're moving something to, if it's a weird sort of place, to do the whole test process that I just mentioned. And you can move your character houses just fine. Some people have said they've stopped getting mail whenever they've moved theirs, uh, but a lot of people recently have said they've moved their houses without issue several times, so I'd say it's safe. Last thing, a lot of people ask if you can spawn Public Works projects with the save editor. You can't spawn them. You can unlock all Public Works projects, which is a button right here on the other tab. And then, of course, once you unlock all Public Works projects, you can build them naturally in the game and then come into the save editor to move them around. Another option is that you can change any Public Works project on this list to any other Public Works project. So with this little pencil icon right beside any Public Works project, you can click on it and then select the new building, the new uh, Public Works project from this list. This list also allows you to place various items from uh, special events or holidays or NPCs uh, anywhere in your town. So you have, you know, Red Stand from where he's selling fireworks, the Dream World bed you can put anywhere for whatever reason, uh, Franklin's Table from uh, the Harvest Festival, all these different face cutout standees from the different holidays uh, are available to you to place in place of a current Public Works project. You just need to click on it and press accept and it changes. When you're changing bridges around, you can't change the direction the bridge is currently facing, but you can change the design of the bridge. So if you want to put a bridge in a weird place that the game normally won't allow, you just need to figure out what direction it needs to be facing. If it needs to be uh, southwest, northeast, you know, on a diagonal, or if it needs to be vertical, or if it needs to be horizontal. And then build that just somewhere along your river that the game will allow you. And then once you come into the save editor, 
you can just use the, the finger clicky button and move it wherever you want, even if the game doesn't necessarily allow you to build it there legitimately. You can move it as long as it's the right direction. You'll be able to walk over it uh, just fine. I think that's all the information I have for you for moving buildings and public works projects around. As always, just read all the information you can about this whole hacking process before actually doing anything. Read the Save Editor's uh, help page and FAQ page. It'll help you see what you can and can't do. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or other people that hack. Uh, normally in the comment sections of all these videos, there are a mix of people who have questions and a mix of people who are kind of hacking veterans and can help answer your questions. So feel free to ask if you're not sure about something, uh, just be safe. If you want to follow me on other social media, links are in the description box as well as links to everything I talked about in this video. You all have a wonderful day, be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye!